Let's get this over quick, shall we? Streamer faces backlash for telling Kick CEO not to do business with black people. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. That's the thing, Eddie, real quick. That's why you don't do business with black people. And this is no offense to any black people in my chat at all. I respect y'all in a way too, because I, I low-key, like, I see what you do. He used you for money, Eddie. He didn't want to ever work with you long term. He got what he wanted out of you. Which, uh, listen, it's in their culture. I respect their culture. Everybody has different cultures. Like, white people, we do our own things. Indians do our own things. Black people have their culture. It's not no racy shit either. Bruce did what he had to do, bro. And he got the bag out of you. But, Eddie, what about me? That's the thing, Eddie, real quick. That's why you don't do business with black people. And this is no offense. He said you don't do business with black people. I'm not offended. I'm here to speak for the ones that still identify as black. They don't know no better. But me personally, I'm not black. The top of this is black. Ask yourself, am I closer to gold, copper, or black? I, so cho I, ch I choose to be gold. I'm gold. I'm the perfect color. <laughs> color is... <laughs> so what? They're not black. Black is void of color. In fact, they emanate all the colors from the rainbow, the seven chakras. Would you try to associate with being some LGBTQ stuff? It have nothing to do with that. And white is enlightenment. It's Christ conscious. Your history. If I look past your history and show you some leniency and look, deal with the present and project the future where you're headed, you and nobody you know that share your settings operate on Christ conscious as a collective at all you're not white and if I look at your skin you're not white your headphones white your shirt white you're not white though you're a dirty ass white if you think you're white but we just gonna pick them apart real quick what else what else you got to say offense to any black people in my chat at all I respect y'all in a way too because I, I low-key oh yeah I ain't finished they're not black. That's void of color. In fact, they emanate all the colors. In fact, everything not true in nature is color. If you have no color, you one of the aliens. Just know that. It works against them in the judicial system and Black Law's dictionary. They're not dead on the shores of this corporation. Corpse is a body of America. Like, and that's you. You stole. You, you stole their identity, and now they identify with this as black. And then you don't like their actions, tendencies, and propensities when they got it from you. And then they fight in amongst their own because of what you instilled in them from the Willie Lynch letter or even things you simply just don't like about They got it from you. If they knew better, if your essence was never around, they would still be somewhere living in pyramids. They wouldn't live in, be living in a box that entraps condensed sunlight. You stole their culture. Ain't nothing worse than that. Tuskegee experiments, even the, the jab. Did you get your shots? I did not. Who, the people that put it out there, what was their biological makeup? And they still was trying to do that to their own, right? Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The nuclear fallout got in a largest organ on their body being a skin through their pores. And it started deleting a chromosome and they started deteriorating from the inside out. The body don't have the blueprint to build this building back being their body. And the men, women, and children innocent. That's what your settings consist of. Them people in them uniforms. This the FDA that approved this. The FDA that approved this poison and stamp it as food, the standardized American diet. You the reason why a lot of people dying. Got health complications. Oh, your mommy had a leg amputation. That was because what she was ingesting. After all, it was approved by the FDA. Who is the in them suits that give it the green light and they, they share your settings? The fuck is you talking about, man? Scroll down. Will you scroll down? Will you scroll down? Black Wall Street, 600 businesses, 21 churches, 21 restaurants, 30 grocery stores, two movie theaters, six private planes, plus hotel, bank, post office, law, law offices, and even a bus system. They ain't get reparated for that. They ain't even get reparations to undergo neuroplasticity to make new neural pathway connections and correct what was done to them by your forefathers that did that to their ancestors. And it's relevant because it's 
it's in a blood it's in a why they act the, i don't like the way these motherfuckers act the way sometimes too but i know they just a reflection of what your kind did to them when you laugh when you're pointing at them you're pointing you got three fingers pointing back at yourself it's because of your doings when you never was here they are being pyramids by monuments obelisks and vermanas they will have their own native tongue everybody else in the world got their native tongue except for them They paying rent to people that don't have a biological identification to the planet, meaning they can't tell you where they come from. Like we come here indefinite and this is our land. We literally come here from here and we can prove it. You don't you stole land, you genocide of people, you kill kids. Bro. What are you talking about? No matter how degenerate I see what black people doing, because they do do some degenerate shit, but they are a reflection of what you did to them. So I see past that. What else? This where you come from, buddy. Doom was created to mask the stench of feces, and princess dresses were designed for easy public urination and defecation. Yes, this all took place in what we think of as the romantic era of medieval Europe, which was far dirtier than you might imagine. The streets and even the Grand Versailles Palace were littered with human waste. European, right? You're a peon. This is your history. Even as much as I, I got a disdain for this shit too, like black people as a collective, Black Lives Matter, they just indoctrinated and they misguided, misdirected, chemically imbalanced, epigenetic trauma due to what your forefathers did to their ancestors and low bearing fruit doesn't fall too far from the same tree. They're suffering the residual effects of what your people did to them. So yeah, when I see them do this stupid shit, I'm like, y'all need to get that shit together. I still see they are a reflection of you. If you the mirror, they're the reflection. The Willie Lynch letter is still in play. Demons and devils have came in a form of electronics. I see what's going on. This kid is a... I'm not even finna slander him at all. He just... He simply misguided, uneducated as well. Indoctrinated as well. But this is your history. Walking down the street, you better carry an umbrella, lest you get hit by falling excrement. Noble women adorned in their splendid voluminous princess gowns would simply relieve themselves where they stood especially during long banquets leaving behind quite the unsanitary scene to combat the pervasive odor king louis xiv of france who wasn't fond of bathing popularized the use of perfume to cover up both body <laughs> odor fun. and the smell of feces making it a sought after luxury among the aristocracy Additionally, Europeans invented high heels and stockings to keep their feet clean from the muck, with the tallest heels reaching up to 50 centimeters, illustrating the depth of the filth on the streets. The prevailing feudal mindset, which held that everything, including dust and waste, was created by God, led people to see public urination and defecation as something not to be ashamed of, but rather a point of pride. This, combined with the high population density and the absence of indoor plumbing, turned entire cities into veritable cesspools. No wonder Voltaire remarked on this era as dirty and barbaric, highlighting the stark difference between the idealized view of medieval Europe and its grimy reality. See that? If I was Earth, you wouldn't be allowed on my planet. It's what we live in. It's home. Your dirty ass don't know what to do when you messing it up. Animal, even an animal don't act like that. An animal don't act like that. That's lesser than an animal. Okay, okay, okay. Look up the papal inquisitions. Enlist it. You kill 80 million men, women, and children. You know who were the biological makeup of the entities that was in that uniform that did the acts that the pope ordered them to do you know who they were they share your settings as much as i hate what these people are doing i don't even like to use the word hate but it's a lot of degenerate things going on in the black it's by design the willie lynch letter is still in play and amplify and enchanted with more ways to attack them and keep them under they chemically imbalanced no wonder they can't think right come up with an invention that can change them and their family's lives nonetheless they they steal the residual effects of what you what you did to them straight up this is deeper than what you know, young bull. I'm young myself, but I ain't no dumbass. That shit was stupid. What else? 
Yeah, look, look what you, that alone, the Hiroshima or Nagasaki alone, the people that was in a uniform share your settings, not mine. I'm not capable of no shit like that. And yeah, I don't take offense to what he said. I'm speaking up for the voiceless and the ones that don't have words to articulate it and don't know enough to even make it right. But um, yeah, me personally, Bruce, you're referring to Bruce drop him off. You're not going to have, why can I go? I'm not offended because I know myself and not a name and a race, a religion that was bestowed upon me free of charge when I was born, right? Nah, I, I know thyself and the, the biggest part of me you will never see. The biggest part of me you will never hear as well. For the highest knowledge is unutterable for it exists as an entity and lanes which transcends our material words or symbols. It have to be experienced by the individual. Even then so, we can grow up in the same shoes. You're still going to perceive it totally different than me. And even if you verbalize it, you're going to kick it out different. And people are going to interpret it different due to your energy, the archetype, one of the zodiac you are. Or what. So that alone, look what, you, look what your history consists of. You stole their identity. Bruce, drop him off. He would have never had to de do that if he had his own land. He didn't have to pay property taxes. He didn't have a, a lodial title or not. If he lit it wherever he resides, his people, because he's he, he's connected to the land. He's neuromelanated. You got ancestors that come from things, and we wouldn't have sold it. Sold it for what? Money wasn't a thing. We wouldn't have sold things that we literally naturally need, and that's here on. We wouldn't have sold it. You stole it, and then you put up. The law enforcement to protect everything you stole, flay, and genocide it. And then you want people to go out and make an honest living. The job is defined as public business for private dishonest gain. Why you think you're making an honest living? Is somebody privately eating private parts, gaining this honestly off your hard work and labor? The 800,000 kids that go missing annually in the United States alone, most of them people that's in the biological makeup, that's in them uniforms, that's doing these acts, share your settings. The fuck you talking about? They can never scratch the surface to be as work to be nowhere near you. We're not pressing no button for no Hiroshima and Nagasaki and going in there and cutting the female's breast off, pouring kerosene inside of her and setting her on fire right before you write the R word at her. We ain't doing that. So yeah, black people, stop call stop letting a classless group of people classify you as such. Your ancestors back in ancient came out and even here at Time Mary. We got pyramids in the Grand Canyon, hieroglyphs and all that. It's your your people, you are descendants from like they ain't identify as black. Stop letting these classless people identify. And they're not white. White is Christ conscious. I have yet to see one of them operate on Christ conscious. And me, again, I don't take offense to this. I'm striving to be my Denzel-like self from the book of Eli. I stand firmly with the 42 ideals of my odds. I don't believe in imposing your will on someone, even though my will is great. But that's not for me to say. I want for my brother... I want for me what I want for my brother, but my brother might want something totally different. So I want for him what he want for himself. Just like the universe, agree. If you feel like you ain't shit, the universe, agree. If you feel like you the shit, the universe also agree. So that's my support behind things, but that shit he said was ignorant. Prince, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, they got knocked off by people that share your settings for greed, taking their publishing, their rights, and all their hard work, blood, and sweat, and tears fuck is you talking about little boy hear him one more time but i'm glad after all cat williams did say everything was coming to light i'm glad we need separation used to think we know you need unity amongst your own sect nah, we need it's, it's, the sun gonna do it either way rather you want separation it's gonna do it. and what was muhammad ali talking about he said yeah it was some good white people i don't like to call them it because it's not true but he said yeah if it's such and such good white people in this pack but the rest of them is after me and i got the chance to shut the door i'm not finna see which one is good and let them know he's gonna shut the door because they're all in the same thing so it's up for your your people to all be in a circumference of each other in each other's company and for you to weed out the weakest links the, the, the pedophiles, the one that doesn't indulge in incest, molestation, bestiality, pedophilia, weird fetishes, narcophilia. So what's up for your group to get rid of the bad apple so you, so we don't close the door on all you motherfuckers, bro? Because you've been winning for a long time, but I'm telling you, things are changing. You can't win forever. You can't win forever. That's one thing about it. 
Um, but yeah, hear this guy one more time. I'm much happier to be on this side. When you say black, I'm much happier to be on that side. Give you the shirt off the back. Teach you how to be cleansed. You think the European thing, you walking around in your own excrement? It's people that taught you things. You ungrateful love bitch. But yeah, I'd rather be on this side. It's not even rather. I'm, I'm most grateful. So I understand the struggle that come with it. It's like, I, I'm... I'm glad me and my bloodline got nothing to do with pressing no button for no Hiroshima and Nagasaki and Tuskegee experiments and mass genocide and papal inquisitions and flaying and boiling and blood eagle and scaphosism and, and Judas cradles and I'm glad we can't scratch the surface. If you was on a trillion percent of what you did to everybody across the planet, we is on one percent in comparison to the bad doing. Crazy thing, we've been on the planet longer than you and you still did worse. <laughs> What else? What else? And you did something to everyone on the planet. And everyone on the planet didn't forget. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they still got their sculptures of what happened to their people as a reminder. So history don't repeat itself. I won't repeat myself. Just know, black people are in the way like ponds. We share this terrain mainly with black and white, right? Let's say if we were out the way and we all just left for whatever, even though it's our land. Let's say that. You know every nation will attack your ass all at once. You did something to everybody. The Congolese, whatever. You did something to everybody. We ain't did nothing to nobody. Except for that little small petty shit due to being subjected to these things. They can't even think right due to what they ingesting because of the people that's in these uniforms that's poisoning things with GMOs share your settings. What are you talking about? We can't scratch the surface to be... Man... If I sink this guy up in prayer, I give his ass a nugget. Well, yeah, I, I still can't blame him. He indoctrinated a lot of them like that. They don't know no better. But let's continue. Hear it one more time. Like I see what you do. He used you for money, Eddie. He didn't want to ever work with you long term. He got what he wanted out of you. Which uh, listen, it's in their culture. I respect their culture. Everybody has different cultures. Like white people, we do our own things. Indians do our own things. Black people have their culture. It's not no racy shit either. Bruce did what he had to do, bro, and he got the bag out of you. But Eddie, what about me? That's the thing. Whatever Bruce drop him out did, just know it's residual effects of what the position he was in. I know what it's like. I get him. The other guy, the CEO, was using him in a way too for his face or his likeness. So it wouldn't have been like that if he, he dude never had an audience or whatever. You see these people getting fucked over out of trillions of dollars in the music industry by people that share your settings. What the fuck are you talking about, Caillou? And yeah, this video was important for me to drop for them that see it and for the young boys that's coming up that think they're black, man. Cut that shit out. You're not black. And it's not the matter of literally look at your skin. Look at X. This is a black screen. You're not that, bro. And the most righteous, kind-hearted, loving people, righteous, that stand with the 42 ideals of my aunts are colored. Just like nature. Everything natural in nature is colored. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> it's funny how somebody can be so, so ignorant, so lost, so far gone. But again, we need separation. I agree with Muhammad Ali said. Again, I don't know the words verbatim, but he was like, if there's some good ones in there, am I going to stand around and see which one is good? No, shut the door for safety. Now, if you really want to be amongst good people, you want to be amongst us, you love us, our culture, and... That's not the culture. This degenerate shit that's in it. Again, we got to do the same thing. We got to weed out the bad apples and the ones that's infected due to what your colonizing ancestors and forefathers did to their ancestors. So, yeah, we're going to have to weed out and decide who is going to be the weakest link. Who is going to be bribed, threatened, envious, or jealous? Chain is the strongest, the weakest link. That's all it takes. So we're going to have to weed that out amongst each other. Every sect and group are going to have to do that. It's important. Separation is important. This may be unpopular. This may be an unpopular statement or whatever, but it's you. It's real. And I made that connection when I was really thinking about it just now because I remember Muhammad Ali really said that, like, I'm not going to stick around and see what's bad. No, you got to you got to destroy the bad that's amongst your own because they're what you we don't know which until same thing with us. We got to get rid of the bad and then we can come together and unify. But only until then.
we're gonna need separation and whether you like it or not bitch you the sun doing it gamma rays inflame the brains low fertility rates uv draws to block the uv uv rays it's happening whether you want it or not the sun is breaking down people and it's dangerous and deadly if you're going over the index and you're looking at the witch and macaulay window go out I don't need suntan lotion. It's breaking down others and it's unlocking my doormat DNA. What they said is junk. There ain't no junk in me. So, yeah, man, I niggas got some nerve. Trust me, I'll be on this side a trillion times. It's no words to express my gratefulness. I'm glad I ain't got nothing to do with no bloodline, oppressing no button for no Hiroshima and Nagasaki, bro. I'm proud of that shit. We ain't being nothing to nobody in the world. I'm proud of that shit, bro. And if you so-called black, neuromelanated one, be proud of that shit, bro. You ain't imposed your will on the one mass genocide, deleting people geno codes and they deteriorating from the inside out, feeling that kind of pain. You doing something to some, you doing something to somebody that you can't take yourself, coward bully. Indians in the pilgrim story. You ain't square up when you seen them on site. No, you made them weak, lethargic, and they trusted you like you did a positive gesture. And then that's when you stabbed them in their back. That's what your history consists of. That's what your present consists of. Your future, you're headed nowhere. You, it's no future for some people. Not on the new earth for high vibrations, you're not. No. You motherfuckers is ungrateful and ill-informed and ill-prepared. <sighs> Mass genocide. <laughs> I'm proud of the side I'm on because I know I ain't responsible for none of that. I know we, we ain't doing no shit like that. Like, man, like we ain't doing no shit like that. I'm proud of it, bro. <sighs> but that's it for this video, man. That's some truth for your ass. If you feel some type of way, fuck you. You can't beat me. You don't look better than me. Your jeans ain't better than mine. My kid is going to be able to beat your kid ass. I'll rip just by default. You know I'm bad. You know. Come on. That's it for this video, man. Don't forget to like the video if you indeed like the video. Comment, share, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and give you a nookie how I should do him when I see him. But now I get it. I, I, when he can look at me, and I'm looking through him. I see the installation, the program, and anything. It's, it's not worth it. I'm going to do better. I'm, I get it. Um, YouTube, this is all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park. This is satire. Take the gym in this message. Move with it. Take the entertainment as well and strive. But yeah, man, be be proud of yourself, bro. You know you one of the most righteous in your history. Even show what you taught and what you did for people, bro. And even currently. And the world admire you. It's only one group on the planet that influenced the world. Fashion, everything. <laughs> in every facet. It's people that try to influence things behind the scenes for money and trickology and all that. But I'm talking about really just being out and about and showing your face and your creative ability and... They don't even know them trying to poison you and keep you chemically imbalanced where you can't think like that has an opposite yet equal reaction. It breaks you down, but once you heal back up, you turn into like a fucking alien. It's like you're not even thinking for the right or the left hemisphere of your brain. It's like you're thinking from the reptilian part of it at that point. Everything has an opposite yet equal reaction. You think if they poisoning our food and this is no, it has a good reaction as well. You get amplified in other ways. It's different. I get it. So. Yeah, be proud of who you are, bro. You ain't responsible for no Hiroshima and Nagasaki. When we move out the way, when you mother, when y'all finally come to the realization to move out the way, if we just, I know this is our land, but if we moved out the way and just we all went somewhere else, you know how fast every country is going to attack their ass all at once? We literally pawns in the way, bro. We ain't doing nothing to nobody, but it's, it's a strategic game. It's a game of chess. I see what's going on. I see the codes. I, I see it. This this little fella just don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Us versus them. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. <laughs>